Hi, everybody. Today's a special live from the hangar narration. I'm actually at the hangar working. You can hear the birds chirping. Thankfully, it's early, so no pilots have come out to uh, disturb me yet. In this video, we're working on uh, the cover pieces that go on the bottom of the horizontal stabilizer. Can't remember the name at the off the top of my head. Uh, th there's one on each side. And they're held in place by number eight screws. We'll wind up drilling some holes, etc., later uh, into them. But it first starts off with bending, and you saw the, the vise over there. So the idea is that these pieces adhere to the side of the fuselage, right? They held in place by number six screws. And they also cover up the very bottom of the vertical stabilizer, right? Now, problem is the uh, fuselage and the vertical stabilizer are different widths. So you'll put that piece of metal in the vise and sort of give it a couple of bends to sort of step in, sort of step it down towards the center of the plane. Uh, once you have those uh, bends nice and they work, then it's just a matter of getting the screws on, making sure it fits. Now, one thing you will have to do is it, it, it does contour the bottom of the uh, horizontal stabilizer very well uh, and because of that sorry there's a plane going overhead because I'm not indoors uh, so because of that you'll have to sand it some for it to actually get a good fit but you don't want to sand it too much because you don't want to have some big gaping hole where water can come in yeah so basically at this point in the build we have gone from actually building to now making this damn thing watertight or airtight and that's now all of my that's my new fears right so uh, you know, we're still in inner demons month. Apparently we've been there for the last five months and yeah, water dripping in is now my newest, newest phobia. You can see the bottom of the uh, fairing there. You can see the rudder fairing is on with that light in the back. Oh. There's a plane behind me getting ready to take off. Hopefully they won't be uh, don't be here for a few minutes. All right, so with that in place, uh, we're happy with both of those covers. So now we've got there is the empanage fairing, and that's what we're going to be working on. So this one's a little interesting. It basically, f well, at least I was lucky. I was lucky in that it basically fit perfect from the beginning. Um, I'm very fortunate that it did. Uh, there can be a lot of a pain in a, a lot of pains with this thing not fitting exactly right, All right? Because you want it to fit flush up against both the horizontal and vertical stabilizers. And there's a few, you know, there are, there are a couple interesting fits on this thing because the originally when you're doing the tail cone, there's a bunch of nut plates that you don't put in. And you can't figure out why the hell you didn't put them in in the first place. And I kept thinking, maybe I'm just misreading the instructions, right? Fast forward four years, nope. You'd be very happy if you didn't put those nut plates in. Those are the holes uh, specifically around this fairing. And the idea is that you've got to blind drill into this fairing uh, where those nut plates exist in order to be able to you know, drill the holes properly for uh, and countersinking because that's where the screws go. And if there's nut plates already in there, Makes it very, very difficult. Plus, you could hurt the nut plates, and no one wants to do that. All right, it's a beautiful day. I think I've procrastinated long enough, or almost long enough. Uh, yeah, so once you basically you just trim this thing down, you check it for a fit. If it fits well, great. Then go ahead, drill holes, and go away. But that's not what we're working on right now. No, no. Uh, in the next video, we are going to fire up the fuel pumps. In the last video, you saw the, the fuel go in, and it's been sitting now in that plane, as you see it, for like four or five days, and there hasn't been any leaks. So now, in the next video, we will actually fire up these pumps and check for leaks. Spoil alert, it, it, it leaks everywhere because I'm an idiot, but we'll, we'll fix them all, I promise. All right, 
Uh, have a good weekend, everyone. Hope you're uh, hope you're having a good one. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.